A popular restaurant in Hampton is now a charred mess. Fire ripped through Anna's Pizza at the Buck Rose Shopping Center yesterday. We brought you this breaking news live yesterday. Well, today, News 3 reporter Angela Bohan has the latest on the investigation as well as the reaction from the community. More than 24 hours after the fire started here at Buck Row Shopping Center, you can still smell the smoke and take a look at all this damage. Fire investigators still on the scene, sifting through the rubble, looking for any sign of what may have caused this fire. The good news is no one was injured, but as you can see, it's going to be a while before Anna's can rebuild. Commercial Structure Fire, 1979 East Pembroke Avenue, District 4, Anna's Italian Pizza. Flames ripped through the Buck Row Shopping Center. The whole way here, I saw nothing but a black cloud of smoke rising as high as I could see. We just had an explosion. The owner of a hair salon a couple doors down felt that explosion. At first, I thought it was like, like an active shooting, so I locked the door, and the lady was like, no, come out, come out. <laughs> Now visible water damage to her salon and multiple businesses are without power. The whole roof system is gone on that particular building, so that's going to have to be redone. Sifting through the debris to, to look for evidence, so hopefully we can find the cause of this fire. The battalion chief tells me Anna's was actually closed when the fire started. Neighboring business owners say that's unusual, and if you look at the restaurant's website, it shows it's normally open until 8. I talked with the owner of the neighboring Chinese restaurant who was pretty shaken up. He was there when it started and called 911. I want a second alarm sent to this location, second alarm. All day, fans of Anna's Pizza saddened to see the damage. Charles Cooper, who rolled up hoping for lunch, was taken by surprise. We like the pizza. The pizza's great. That's why I'm here. Out of everybody else, we wanted Anna's, and now Anna's gone. And like I said, I've been knowing this place from like the 70s. Pamela Johnson remembers this space when it was just an open field. Anna's was the best. The best. I mean, I just don't know what they're going to do. I just, it just looks terrible. A loss for the entire community of Hampton, some say. Oh, it's heartbreaking. I mean, I hope they can rebuild. I hope they had insurance. Please come back, Anna. <laughs> Again, no word yet on what caused the fire. We'll be sure to keep you updated as we hear from investigators. Meantime, the owner of Soul in the Wall restaurant stopped by trying to offer work to those affected at these two restaurants. In Hampton, Angela Bohan, News 3.